What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cece Brown, and welcome back to my channel. So, as y'all can tell by the title, I will be talking about what you need to know before you get that call center job. What to expect on your first day at a call center. But before we get into the video, make sure y'all like this video. Like this video right now. Subscribe, subscribe to your girl channel or whatever. And let's get right into this video. So, excuse my background, I'm inside of my mom's car, so she's in the store. So, I was like, why not make a video? I ain't make a video in a minute. But, what to expect on your first day at a call center? So, whew, I worked at a call center last year, and honestly, I did not like it. I did not like it. At a call center, when you get on the floor... You go through training, you know, they train you and stuff like that. You do your two weeks, three weeks or a month training in the classroom. And then you go through maybe like this thing called nesting where you get assistance like for two weeks and stuff like that. So when you get on the floor, expect for to have angry callers, expect to be yelled at, expect to be called a B-I-T-C-H because I have been called that. Expect for people to be coming on the phone, la, 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 yelling at you. Expect to get hanged up on. Like working at the call, working at a call center is not for the week. It's not for the week. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Expect to be nervous for your first call because you honestly don't know, you know, everything. You because you have to learn the system. You have to learn how to multitask with different systems. You have to learn how to handle. Being on the phone with the customer and typing in information. So expect that. Um, whew, expect QA, which is quality insurance, because your calls will be scored. Every week I was working at this call center and we get scored every single week, y'all. Sometimes it can be terrible. Sometimes it can be great. And if your score is over a certain percent, then they will take you to coaching with the Q&A and let you know what you did wrong. Also, there is a script. Some call centers, well, most, about 90% of the time, you will have a script at a call center. Well, no, 100% of the time, you will have a script at a call center, y'all. Oh, my goodness. And I still, to this day, remember my script, especially a closing. Like, I'm not going to say the name of the company, so I can be like, before you, like, for instance, a closing script. I'm not going to say the name of the company. Before you go, would you like to participate in a customer satisfaction survey about a call today? It will only take a few minutes to complete. Thank you for calling, blah, 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 and have a nice day. Imagine saying that 150 million times a day. It can get overwhelming. Your voice will get raspy because my voice did get very raspy, y'all. It was <sighs> like, it's like you're saying, and then it's like, you will be isolated. You will be isolated. You think you have time to talk with your coworkers? No, because you will be on the phone all day long, all day freaking long on the phone, and like you don't have no time to like breathe because once you get finished one call, another call is coming in. Once you get, it's like back to back to back, depending on your call volume. The only time you have a uh, pretty much when you, time to breathe is on your break. Um, the only thing I like about the job it wasn't that physical, but I'd rather do physical work now because, you know, working at a desk job, you can get very fat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, um, working at a call center, you have to make sure that you can handle being yelled at because you will be, will be, you will be getting yelled at. You will be getting yelled at. People will come on the phone yelling at you. Now, not all calls are bad. Some calls are pretty good. You have to have patience with people. You know what I'm saying? Because people are rude and disrespectful. They don't care. When they call, they just want, want what you want. You have the crier. You have the screamer. I told you to help me. Nah, nah, nah. You have the screamer. You have the angry person. As soon as you get on the phone. But as soon as you help saw them, they're the nicest person in the world. Like, it's just crazy, y'all. It's just real, real crazy. It's just crazy. Like, working in a call center environment. And then you also have the gossip the gossipers in the call center most of the time in the call center it's a bunch of females so sometimes there can be gossip in the call center when it's downtime then you see people gossiping it's just crazy 
but this was just a short video y'all on what to expect on your first day so you go through your training session and then when you in training y'all they don't really teach you what's like going to expect on what you want to expect on the floor they teach you about the company they teach you about a whole week about the company versus when they need to train you what you need to do while you're on the floor you learn during your nesting period a nesting period is like pretty much like a training another training period y'all but working in the call center you have to be very you have to know how to handle you know people yelling at you and screaming at you over the phone sometimes you can't be nervous nervous but here's my advice take your time breathe if a person is yelling at you ask them hey do you mind if i place you on a brief hold to do further research on your account and gather your you know your thoughts and be like okay calm down because that's what i used to do calm down sierra and then get back to the phone thank you for holding you know and just be polite with them never ever argue with a um member or customer whatever y'all call it never because not gonna leave no way and you're gonna lose your job never do that so you have to have pretty much patience and you have to have tolerance you know what i'm saying if you're a type of person like if you're the type of person that's like um like they can't take that then the job is not for you but um you're not for instance you're not going to be continue to be abused so if someone verbally abused so if someone keep on verbally abusing you then tell them i'm sorry can you please refrain from cussing at me if so i would have to disconnect the call and that's what i would do i'm sorry but i'm not going to have nobody verbally abuse me i refuse that but make sure you talk with your manager before you do that to see if there are any other options or scripts that they use when a customer is verbally abusing you but anyways y'all i don't want to make this video too long comment down below what other videos y'all want to see come put down a phone emoji if you work at a call center before or you about to start a call center job a phone emoji okay y'all it's your girl cc brown and i'm out peace